righty. Good evening one more time to you. Huge pleasure, privilege always for me to be here hanging out with great persons like you who are out there listening to the broadcast as we talk about <coughs> everything interesting, exciting and annoying sometimes to you around the beautiful game of basketball. We're going to switch the game on sometime around 7.40 p.m. By that time, there'll be focus on all the football stories, stuff around tennis and so on and so forth. For now, though, between now and that time, we sure can certainly dissect everything around b-ball it's what some people love to you girl it's my name is chuma nolly i'm in great company of guys who are quite industrious in the week as we go on the child will be joining us for now though i'm honored to have daniel chikuma by my side for this ride what's up bro good I'm to see good, you i'm good i'm good i made it yeah <laughs> mama i made it <laughs> like the flash i did good evening lagos uh it's always a pleasure to, to come talk basketball mm -hmm. every evening monday ah come on i see the all star game Boy, it made sense. Uh, I also understand people who've criticized a few things that happened around it. Uh, and we'll talk about that on the show tonight. <laughs> yeah, but it made sense. Um, best part for me were those performances from our people. Yeah, true, true. Okay, guys, we're streaming live. Okay, uh, it's beyond just our talking. You also can show some walking. You can check us out, Nigeria Info 99.3 on Facebook and watch the video beyond just listening to the audio and talk to us while we stay here in the studio respond to our talking points we make this very interactive every time we come around and today's not going to be a different setting for us from that pov so i want to hear from you for sure man you go make so much sense make you talk to us eh now yep. our talking point on the show for tonight would be is the attendance of a music or movie star enough to motivate you to leave your house and go to watch a live basketball game in Nigeria. Yeah, that's it. And I'll tell you why we have this topic as the show progresses. The attendance of a music, a movie star to a basketball game in Nigeria. Is it enough motivation to make you to tell yourself, Omo, it's at the National Stadium, yeah? Omo, I did stay for Ikeja Shao, but no problem. I will go. I stay in Victoria Island, but I'll go to Surulere, no problem. Um, because I know that uh, there would be, you know, Nancy Sime, for example, there watching that basketball game too. Or yep. I know that, oh boy, as I'm going to that place, there'll be Rema. He'll be seated watching the game too. He yeah. could even perform by halftime. Would that be enough motivation to make you leave your house to go and watch a live basketball game in Nigeria? Please uh, let us know what you make of that one. Go over to Twitter. Our life sometimes can be sweet at Nigeria in 4FM. It's a handle that's always lighted up like a candle for sure. You can respond using that platform. Tell us what's up using WhatsApp and hear the phone line to be buzzing too. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. As I say hi and welcome to the tallest man in our group. Yeah, at six, two and a half. <laughs> As we become each other joins us on the show tonight. What's up, bro? Good to see you. Good evening, guys. And good evening to everyone. Um, I, I'm not sure I'm late. <laughs> but I, didn't, I didn't make it early enough. <laughs> I just came in from the All-Star game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's get into that immediately. That All-Star game because Jason Tatum scored an All-Star game record 55 points. He helped his side team Yanis to go all the way to win that All-Star game in the early hours of this morning Nigerian timing late last night in the USA. Uh, team Yanis Antetokounmpo, who's certainly one who has Nigerian connections to you, but officially plays for Greece these days. His team beat Team Lebron by 184 to 175 points to win the NBA's annual showcase game. Now, Tatum, who plays for the Boston Celtics, also got the award as the most valuable player at the end of that game. Before we get into what he did for himself and how he reacts, let's just prep our minds around how everything kicked off for the 2023 NBA All-Star Game. It was some mind-blowing experience, wasn't it? Having to watch all the superstars converge in one territory. Fans, welcome to NBA All-Star 2023 in Salt Lake City. Now, from the upcoming film, Fast 10, please welcome Vin Diesel. As a kid from New York, Let's go! I used to dream about coming to an NBA game. Now it's time to meet your 2023 NBA All-Stars. Yeah, now you can meet them really because they did all the magic on the courts to ensure that there was a victor and a victim, but no eviction after the end of proceedings in four quarters in that game that's been diesel by the way the guy who talks so much about family in the fast and furious franchise we're looking forward to having 
Fast uh, 10 or something like that. Feels like part 10 kind of of that series. And he was there, one of the big names, one of the stars who did converge to watch that NBA All-Star game. And that's why I'm asking you if uh, having the presence of a movie star in Nigeria, a music star in Nigeria, is enough to propel you to want to leave your house to go and watch a basketball game in this great country of ours. And then for Jason Tatum, who went on to be the highest scorer in the history of an NBA All-Star game, the man said, hey, there was an extra motivation around his performance. And honestly, for me, it was the first day I got to debut my own signature shoe. Um, so I had a little bit more motivation uh, to have a good performance. I'd be lying if I thought I was going to get 55. But, uh, you know, I got hot in that third quarter and kept going. Yeah, he unveiled his own personal shoe, which is, of course, being sold at the moment in the USA. So it was an extra motivation for him on the day that he unveiled that shoe of his, uh, that yeah. footwear of his that he goes on and shines to in front of the rest of the world. You know, Danny, you started by asking me what I made of the All-Star game. What did you make of it? <laughs> <laughs> As always, you know, the... Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry, As always, yeah. uh, you know, the NBA, they always come with the razzle-dazzle, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, stars in the building. Everywhere was lit, the skills challenge, the, the three-point contest, yeah. the celebrity games. Everything is always on point and always spot on. So I was really excited. Um, I was dozing off in between, but... But you know, if I would laugh, Yeah, but, but I mean, know what's going on. I need to shake. I need to shake. You guys look like partners in crime shaking your shoulders now. You yeah. won, so yeah, yeah, know what's yeah, going yeah, on. yeah, his guys. Yeah. Congratulations. Mm, you see, mm, I'm, I'm, a, mm. I'm an honorable man. Yeah, magnanimous guy like yes, that, you really. Know. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, but, but as, you, as you come in, big grammar, yeah, it's going to make me stammer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I don't stammer. Mm -hmm. um, but <clears throat> as you come in, as you, there's been a bit of uh, criticisms around this game, and one of those was seen like, if there's any reason that should happen, I'll listen to you on the message, so it's your exercise. Everybody was playing of them. I mean, everybody is preparing or bracing up for the playoffs. Um, I don't think coming there to come up play this kind of intense game at that kind of level, then pick up an injury and not be able to play in the playoffs. That uh, no, 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 nobody wants that hassle. Well, is that so, so is that not so, is enough to make me start? I really, I need to drink a bit of water. Mm -hmm. But is that not supposed to be the idea around an all-star game that we fans dream of these things? So, mm -hmm. football fans, for example, have started having conversations of, I would love to see Ronaldo and Messi playing the same team for an all-star game. Maybe Team Europe against Team South America, Team South America and Team Europe together against the rest of the world. We should have something Africa. close. Yeah, I know. I know when I was younger, I was something like that. Mm -hmm. So you want to see these guys come with their best. So in your mind, you're like, okay, you guys are not coming with your best. Let's see who's going to be better. Ginger. Exactly, bro. You now come there and you're saying, now nah, all star in a friendly, not be friendly match. It's supposed to be game to show say, uh, Chuma better pass Azu. So if Azu is the baddest guy ever live it in the words of Alamide, baddest guy ever live it from mainland for example mm. Achuma is the baddest guy from the island and we come up mm. against each other the idea is supposed to be now we can see them which is something that doesn't happen every day play themselves yeah Chuma beat us and Chuma will not come and beat yeah, us but, and then be doing I don't want to enjoy myself or not but, but see that's uh, that's like, before I Daniel sorry um, injuries on, in one game yeah. shouldn't be um, a concern we're uh, here to, but, but the beauty of the game is like I always say mm. I, I got to learn more even from um, uh, what's his name again Oh. The the giant money now, Miss who's not present now. Okay, you're yeah, yeah. yeah. He said this thing is about shooting. We are coming out for even the the guards and rather the 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 guys who mm. are more like the defenders and the five man team mm -hmm. are the shooters, the best of shooters. That's <laughs> yeah. what they will go for. Yeah. Anybody who's selecting is looking at who will shoot and who can make the best of assists so I can do slam dunk. So it's not about who can defend most. That's not what they are looking out for. Go there and score, it, man. Score. Now if you're talking about defense, you must speak uh, someone like Draymond Green, even if he's not in his best of form. Mm -hmm. But how much how much points does he score? Okay. You wouldn't put it. No, there was no okay. going to say Warrior player in this particular uh, uh, um, All Star game. So it's about who can put the balls. Look at Tatum shooting three pointers like Steph Curry never existed. Um, <laughs> so it was. Um, it was beat, <laughs> beat him <laughs> young to uh, skills was, challenge. Was, you was understand? Really. It was, so, it was, it was having fun yeah, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's all about the stars. You know, everybody came there to. Say, oh, yeah, this guy came, mm, Ben Diesel mm, came, mm, Rihanna mm, came, this person mm, came, mm. you know, and, and ticket sales and the lights and so the, the razzmatazz and all the exactly. Fun so it, that's really. what people came to do, you know, people just come and come, come and have fun and watch okay. good, good basketball and see your stars, take pictures, 
you know and you i mean a, that's you have a point yeah yeah a point from, it's from business that, from business is business okay I take it. And I'll not them pass. I take it. Yanis Hunter to come for who led his side to a victory. Didn't play that much. He played for just a few, a few, a few, mm-hmm. a few, a few seconds. Mm-hmm. I, I I can put it that way. Mm-hmm. Um getting uh just um his first point of the night and then going off because he had an injury even before this all-star game. And LeBron James played the first two quarters, more like the first half of the game before picking up an injury himself with his little finger just hitting the rim and he got uh, 13 points in the game. That's LeBron James. By halftime, the halfway stage of the game, we had some amazing performances. And this one will excite you even more. Three Nigerian superstars. Yep. There was Thames, Rema. But first off, the man, Bonaboy. We've got a young king, Rema. We've got a beautiful queen, Thames. And to start us off, give it up for my boy, Bonaboy. Oh. Uh. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, they call me Burner Boy, and I'm about to take you on a journey through Africa without even going on a plane. Introducing you to me and a couple of my people. of the performance from Nigeria's Bono Boy during the course of the halftime show during the course of the NBA All-Star game. After him, we did have Thames and we had Rema to perform on that stage. A big night for Nigerians. Yanis Atetokounmpo, whose side won also, don't forget, is one born to Nigerian parents, even though he's uh, in Greece at this time. Let's get to you immediately. So, having heard those performances, uh, heard about the performances and gotten a bit of a snippet into what Bono Boy did himself, if you hear that a music star or a movie star in Nigeria is going to watch a basketball game in Nigeria, let's say Lagos, for example, at the National Stadium, and you're living in Ikorodu, Victoria Island, or Ikeja, somewhere far from the stadium, would it be enough to propel you to leave your house to go out to watch that basketball game? Because from your own POV, you're saying, okay, these stars will be around, so I'm going to watch too. Is that enough to propel you as we try to find the solution around getting it right uh, with the publicity and promotion and supportership and followership of sports basketball at this time in Nigeria. 0700-993-993-993 is the number you can call. Yes, that one is terrible. One more time, the number is 0700-993-993-993. For our female callers only, 01465-7190 would make sense sense for you. That's 01465 7190 still streaming live on facebook you can drop your comments on that platform too you can watch us from any part of the world you are in on facebook nigeria info 99.3 it's caught side how are you doing hello good evening yeah, Chuma. yes good evening. good evening good evening guys good evening, good evening. You're welcome yeah jubaba nice welcome, one. welcome welcome thank you yeah for me it won't be enough are you serious? Mm. The, the reason is um, I, I go for b-ball game or any other game that I feel like okay. at my own convenient time. Okay. Mm. So not just the music, the, the the music, uh, the artist and um, from the music or even if it's um, and uh, film production and co. Mm. You will know, you know, ginger me like that. That's for me. I love you. But that's one from the. You know the the playoff and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so enjoying, especially uh, with the Nigerians also performing there yeah. too. Yeah. It's, it's a big honor to us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Baba, thank you. I love that honesty, really, and that's what I want to get on the show tonight. That much honesty. Would it propel you? Would it be enough to propel you to go out to watch an, uh, a basketball game in Nigeria if you have a movie or music star attending that game too? 
or potentially performing to you by half time. More of your thoughts now via the phone lines. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Are you feeling okay, my neighbor? All right, I'm sorry, my neighbor. Call us back if you can. I don't think you were ready. Hello, Line one Ooh. acting up to you. We do have other portals through which you can speak to us, even if the phone lines want to have headache. Well, you certainly can have your thoughts uh, read out to you using WhatsApp, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. It's Cotside on Nigeria and Fuzzy. In a bit, we'll be switching over to basketball in our country. Yeah, it's important we speak about Quara Falcons who are preparing to represent Nigeria on the continental stage and also the guys who are trying to qualify for the World Cup, the men's national team, the Tigers. Mm. However, keep it coming guys, just comment and messages. While we're proud of Bonaboy Thames and uh, Rema for their performances in the NBA, why can we not be proud of the followership of basketball in Nigeria itself too? So we're trying to find solutions. That's what we do here. We talk for development on Nigeria info. And Cutside is certainly one championing that cost to you from a basketballing point of view. Would you go to an arena to watch the game if you know that a music or movie star would be there watching as well? Remember, share one of those comments remember from you shout out to uh, CBL management. <laughs> yeah. Right when the CBL games were happening, yeah. happening at Landmark. Um, we had a lot of um, guest appearances, mm. um, Rugged Man, Idris, even the former governor, mm. um, Ambody was there and you know you could see how organized it was. Nice. Um, Let's get a few more and it was well put, well put together. Hello, good evening. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, line three. You know, the guys in the USA have mastered being able to merge entertainment with, uh, with sports. Hi, how are you doing? Are you there? I don't think you are. <laughs> having some connection issues for sure um let's let's search and choir falcons before we're going on the commercial break because we have that coming on uh, in a bit guys by the way um we do have game on to come from 7 40 all the football talk and tennis and the likes to come okay i'll give dan an opportunity to squeeze in one mini, call mini, now. let's mini, see <laughs> let's see hello good evening good evening Truman, Nazu. yeah thanks good for joining evening. us on the this is Joy calling from Eternity. Hey, nice Joy, Joy, female welcome, caller welcome, Joy. of the evening. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> 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 All right. As I said, for me, I don't yeah. think I can go all the way down to the National Stadium at Tulu for my area just because someone is performing like Rima. No, no, no. Are you serious? That, that will not be enough. Mm. Based on his basketball. If it's football, why mm. not? Mm. 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 What if they were sharing you Naira notes? <laughs> 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 well, nice that's one. one. Never, never like that. No, no, no. Because, uh, no, no. no. Okay. Amazing stuff. Okay. Again, okay. thank you for your honesty. Thank you. Yeah. That, okay. And then when you talk about basketball, I can't think I'm again. Like, seeing our poison. Uh, let's get this call now. Uh, I think we just have to run away from line two. It's been acting up too much. Let's try this. Hello, good evening. Good evening, too, man. No, 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 no. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, Dan is my name, here. My name is Chuk calling from Malawa. Beautiful stuff. Talk to us, please. Yeah, for me, if I if I can perform in that stage, you're almost... you go. Sharp, sharp, now, no way. Even if your house is in the good state, you come to Suru Lere to watch it. Why not? Why not? If, if the Nigerian can do such things, mm. Omo, even if you cannot come from where you say, people living around that area can fill up the stadium. Mm. Mm. All right. Point. All right. Yeah. Yeah. watching basketball. Thank you. Too. Great stuff. Thanks for your thoughts. I appreciate that. So we can go in for that commercial break now. We yep. read out your comments on Twitter, WhatsApp and uh via facebook too but just have this in mind quara falcon to be representing nigeria the basketball africa league uh, that's uh, coming alive in in a few weeks time before that though they will have to take part in this invitational tournament in abidjan from the 27th of this month it's going to last until march 3. it's a four team tournament that one i'll tell you, you a bit more about it after we return from this commercial yep. break. this is nigeria and for don't touch it down we're still here to serve you in style let's talk you go fix send your picking go public primary school for lagos state before you answer me i beg hear this story for 2019 governor sawolu introduced a co-excel excellence for child education and learning inside public primary school where they make learning and teaching develop well and the tuition fee now free oh 
on the same matter, the Lord will train teachers on how to use technology to teach children inside their classroom and not the result of a co-excel with these. Picking with the primary three. Now, don't they read like picking with the primary five before they introduce the co-excel? For the national common entrance, where they just write finish, the co-excel picking get 198 mark inside 210 mark will be overall. This same a co-excel program don't collect award as the most innovative digital learning platform of the year. We show say the money where Lagos State government spend on top education will be waste. Your picking self will make you proud. You send them go public primary school inside Lagos State today for the new academic session. Oh, the only detergent that keeps me bright and fresh. I know the waste time to wash our toys. My clothes is happy first, so why go last? You can't wash your love with a little viva. Use viva. Don't waste your time, don't waste your money. Use viva. cleaning powder from Aspira. Yeah, you like enjoyment, you like to chop on God. Yes, you like to chop on God. Don't need no pizza, don't come again with another one. Run, come back, I show you this life for flex. Yes, I show you this life for flex. Rice and chicken, you don't dare for no me, no. Jala, rice and chicken, no. Pepper sauce, no girl. BBQ and show up, my bros, my dominos, you see, girl, come on. Jala, rice and Get up to 10% off on your UBA card when you treat yourself and your loved ones with delicious meals from Jumia Food, tasty desserts, and nuts about cakes, a staycation from Aura by Transco Hotels, and a possible learning experience with new lesson. Enjoy Sakba Free Love on UBA. This offer is valid from 13th to the 28th of February, 2023. Terms and conditions apply. UBA. Africa's global bank. Shuaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu as president and Senator Kashin Shetina as vice president. Message brought to you by the National Working Committee of the APC. APC Progress! Can you send your child to a public primary school in Lagos? Before you answer that question, please listen to this. In 2019, Governor Sawoli introduced a co-excel, excellence in child education and learning, for public primary schools as a new system of learning and teaching, absolutely free of learning fees. Teachers have been retrained to use technology to teach Poto to their classrooms, and these are the results. An average primary three Poto is now reading at the same level as an average primary five Poto just before the launch of a Excel. In the just concluded National Common Entrance Examination, the top public primary school Poto scored 198, just three points behind the national best of 201 out of 210. The Excel program was also recently crowned as the most innovative digital learning platform of the year, justifying Lagos State's investment in education. You too can be proud of your children by enrolling them in Lagos State Public Primary School today for the new academic year. Thanks for calling Bastion Since HMO. Since I signed up with Bastion HMO, I don't worry about hospital bills. I get access to top quality health care and still save enough for other things. They even help me book my doctor's appointments. Bastion HMO also gives me access to over 1,700 hospitals and clinics with the freedom to switch whenever. I feel so in control of my finances and health. Call 0800 Bastion or visit www. BastionHMO.com to purchase a plan that suits your needs. Bastion Health, the HMO that puts you in control. 
with three spectacular debaters, Group C of the IBEC Tidifa Tournament of Champions, Welcome, bonus, Sarah. As a con recharge, bam, blow, knock me ten times a time bonus. I also enjoy double data. Joy. Wait, oh, you mean 1,000 naira welcome bonus? Yes. Plus 10 times a time bonus? Yes. Plus double data again? Yes. From a wage universe now. The globe break the universe now. You do what try. Oh, mo. No wonder boys are flexing the hair on top from 247 non stop. Hey, I don't come. My people, oh, not let grass grow under your lego. Go get your glow sim today. Dial star 777 hash to buy and enjoy 10 times airtime bonus plus up to double data. Offer a day for both new and existing subscribers then. Glow Unlimited. Country people, that time and season don't reach again. Oh, now the time when me and you go join hand together, make we for select person we go lead our Ubonge country Nigeria, and we go shine our eyes this time. Well, well, oh, make we make sure say now person we get good character and person we the competent. Now him we go select that now why his excellency Peter Gregory will be and him running mate Yusuf that he are made be the good people for the job. And now then we go vote for where we go put our hand now for Labour Party where them draw Papa. Mama, I'm picky. So therefore, shut your eyes, oh. No let anybody deceive you, oh. Because, now them promise us new Nigeria. After all, waiting them do before, now make people won't vote them now. Because if not for verification, them go tell you, see, go and verify. So therefore, my people, make we gather support for P2B. Because with P2B, new Nigeria, it is very sure. To clean and powder from us pure. 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for talk. Let's talk. Hi, my name is Adora Lalu, captain of the Nigeria national team, and you're listening to Courtside on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Welcome back, guys. It's cut side on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Yeah, that took a bit of a uh, few minutes, so didn't it? But we're back here, guys, and there's still too much to talk about. A few more minutes before we wrap up things on cut side and then switch to game on and share with you all the big stuff that took place in the top league, top leagues around the world. Yeah, the top footballing leagues around the world, including the <laughs> Nigeria Premier Football League, and also some great stuff Novak Djokovic has done for himself in tennis. Before the commercial break, though, we we're speaking about Quara Falcons who will be representing Nigeria at the Basketball Africa League and they have this 14 tournament they will be taking part in in Abidjan and that's from February 27 to March 3 they will compete alongside Abidjan Basketball Club of Côte d'Ivoire Kachi Sports Academy of Cameroon will be in the mix for that one too and there will be our Quara Falcons uh, and there will be Stad Malien of Mali in mm. there too mm -hmm. the coach of mm. uh, Quara Falcons is coach Jibril Baba. Baba, yeah, he spoke to Azubika Omicha, who's here in the studio, of course, on how they are preparing for the Basketball Africa League and hoping to represent Nigeria well enough when the time comes for the competition. Mm. Uh, now we're looking at the ball itself. What is the preparation like on your side? Oh, we are preparing very well. You know, definitely, ball is another level of basketball. It's even higher than this. Very it's right. like NBA level. You understand? Definitely, we are going to prepare. We know what we are expecting. But this tournament is like a very good test for us. You know, it's really going to help us going into ball. It's important all the tournaments they play in before the Basketball Africa League comes alive will be preparatory in their quest to represent us well enough on the continental stage. This ball is like Champions League for basketball, just to put that into context for football persons. Uh, guys, 
You know, I know my Rivers Hoopers will be there this time next year. <laughs> uh, for now, uh, let's uh, eulogize <laughs> Kraft Falcons. You know, no Nigerian <laughs> team has, has gone yeah, far in this competition so far. Are you I guys feel like singing High Falcons? Life for you, High Life. You can sing with your voice, well don't go cut your dust. No, I know the, I know the Yabi Jar. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, I sound like Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Chukuma, as we call the chat, Chuman Nelly, the guys in the studio too. Your comment will read out the ones on social media. We have been asking you all evening um, if the presence and the attendance of a movie star or music star to a basketball game in Nigeria will be enough of a factor to propel you to leave your house mm. and go out to watch that game uh, anywhere in Nigeria. You know, mm. you can let me know what you make of that one. But guys, chances of Quarrel Falcons when Bar comes around. Okay. As you've seen them play live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, a very um, efficient side. I love their efficiency. I love their teamwork. I love that um, um, energy that they come in with. Unlike what we saw at the All Star Games, the total contrast. <laughs> as far as uh, closing people down is concerned, they are very good at these three things: screening, okay. um, closing down uh, players, and also doing some good defensive work. Their fitness and their teamwork is great. Uh, but one thing they have to work on, which is a natural thing for African teams or Nigerian teams, let me use that, is shooting. That was what actually threw um, River Supers out. Or those, those ones came in like <coughs> they didn't know what they were doing. Uh, Don't blame I, them today. Like, like you said, it was the first experience and we know we had that, issues. Yeah. Mm. And I love, I love what Kwara Falcons are doing. Now we already have their group. We know they are going to be playing against. The defending champions, UGS Monastery, is, uh, is on that same group that they, they will be playing in at the uh, tourney. So that's, that's a big one for them. But in yeah. the end, it's a fantastic um, uh, um, team that they have. We talked about. I, I talked to the coach about James and Amoto, the Ghanaian player who plays for the the Ghanaian That's team that got to the final. Uh, Spin um, Spin Tech so mm. He said we would love to get him. So I hope they're making that move now. If they're making that move, like Daniel was saying before we came back on, they should get him signed before uh, before this um, um, invitational tourney that they're playing in Abidjan, so they can actually have him get used to the team and also. Have that um, confidence before they go into. So the there's this syn- they, ha- they have the synergy. Because if if you check it for the invitational tourney, the uh, the one that, that happened um, two weeks ago, what's the, yeah. what's the name of this guy again? Louis Edem. I'm Edem. really forgetting names these names. Don't mind me. Nah, Louis nah, Edem. Nah, cool, don't get you. No, so no, it's Tony no, of no, Balance. No, this sorry, is understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Louis <laughs> Edem, uh, uh, an invitational tourney. Yeah. Um, James Samoto, the Ghanaian, would have been given the MVP without stress. So that's how good he is. Just had that kind of a player to the team, and you have yeah. something to actually. Um, look forward to in shooting three pointers, forcing your way through to making those um, layoffs and um, having that team that uh, will, will have some confidence. Even the player who's going to be sitting on the bench will know somebody is better than me playing up front. Yeah. And have somebody to look up to. That's just just the way basketball is. Don't stick with what you have already. It is normal. We had add Jayco, more, more quality. We had Jayco coming really. at yeah. some point in time, and that's not the real. They, that's just for fun. So they already give you. They've given you a window to sign two players or so, and make it happen at least. Jump, jump on it, yeah. kind of. Uh, for me, I, I, I've watched their games, I've watched their training sessions, um, and, you know, uh, as a coach, you it's always advisable you watch training sessions yeah. and game videos of previous games against different teams, and even watch your own training sessions to actually assess your players. Um, for me, I, like you said, they have to work on their shooting, uh, very important, especially their, especially their free throw and three points. Mm. Those two are very important because... It might be those two points on, uh, on the line that might end up yeah. taking you to the next level. Yeah. Uh, and the key factor is they have to be very technical in terms of uh, rotation of the ball, okay. floor plays and all. Because the teams they are going to go and play against are teams that are very technical and they are very sound. They have the championship mentality. They, they have the endurance to hold the ball, put pressure and actually force you to commit plays and force you to commit fouls so that yeah. they get that transition and they keep scoring. And you know, in the bow, the yeah. more they keep scoring, yeah. <laughs> the more they are seeing the next opponent. The more they keep know. scoring, yeah. yeah. Speaking about scoring, we have to score the right points as we get into the next phase of qualifying for the FIBA uh, Basketball uh, World Cup. FIBA already means the Federation of International Basketball Association. Sure. The same way you have FIFA for football. That World Cup will take place later this year. And the next phase of qualifying for the African region comes alive in the coming days. In fact, Nigeria's the Tigers will take on Ivory Coast, you may want to call them Cote d'Ivoire, hmm. on Friday, February 24, hmm. in one of our games. Mm-hmm. In there. They, ha- they have been camping in Abuja for a few days now under the leadership of uh, a man who has done a good job with Rivers Hoopers, Ogo Daudu, in the mm-hmm. past. He's the one in charge of the national team now. And the president of uh, the Nigeria Basketball Federation, Musa Kida, visited them in Abuja to motivate the boys before they jet out of Nigeria for this phase 
Do you guys think we can qualify for the World Cup? 30 seconds each, Dan and Azu, hmm. before we switch. Um, uh, I don't because we're, so. we're in a tough place. We're, we're not top of our group so. now, as we speak. Uh, yeah. it, all, it all boils down to very. It's very and we simple. don't have our superstar foreign base players. So, so this before. this is the thing. Mm. If we had a league, mm, mm. not just a league, a functional, well organized league, we would not be asking ourselves now if we are going to qualify or not. Our performance from the get go would have yeah. told us, okay, these are the players we need. This is the kind of tactics we're going to use. Mm -hmm. This is the coach we're going to use. Then everything is well put together. Then we know where we are headed. But now, mm. it's like, we're just doing, oh, yeah, yeah, As we stand up, stand up. Oh, yeah, Boku. Oh, yeah, yeah. Barbos, the, okay. Barbos, uh, yeah, Chuma, yeah. Chuma, do you know, do you know the yeah, average the average um, basketball lover will still be thinking, this is just a preamble. Like, you have home base players come to mm. um, um, train first before the foreign base players come. Mm. Mm. Most likely, these guys are not coming. There's no yeah. Spencer Dewinde. Yeah. There's no... Um, we have just two guys from the USC, and those guys are unattached. Exactly. These are not the these are not the games. These are not the guys we're looking out for. So uh, the coach said, "No yeah. day, he don't go facing That's Mike basketball. Brown, Mike Brown don't go facing basketball. This thing. So it's looking. I talk about it. I talk about that. Well, see, let's not let's not deceive ourselves. Okay. Let's just pray that the women come back Omo. and help us. Well, this is Nigeria. That just two years back, we beat the USA for the first time ever. Mm. Where mm. we got to the echelon, the mm. women were doing mm. well, and we're like, oh boy, our basketball on jail finally. And I spoke, I spoke one year after. See where we are. I spoke okay, with God. I spoke with uh, We need to leave the show, coach, guys. Yeah. We, 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 we shall spoke together mm -hmm. off the microphone yeah, after exactly. this show. For now, though, before I spark, let me rap shows. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> guys. As we go, Micha has been here. As you want to touch on it very quickly now, very quickly, because we need to switch the game on. Uh, three point contest. The guys who came out mm. tops um, and uh, the. Uh, okay. Uh, I know my man was the bad West guy I've with the three-point contest and he, he took it to the All-Star game. I'll, I'll start with Jason Tatum. Mm. So, so he broke a record uh, which mm. many of us don't know with about. Five points. With five points from what um, um, Anthony Davis did in yeah, 2017. Yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning. Yeah, and yeah. And it was, mm -hmm. was a wonderful one. 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 Three-point mm -hmm. contest mm -hmm. went on to um, Damian Lillard so, yeah. uh, beating Buddy Hill who won it in 2020 and that was a fantastic one. There was also the slam dunk contest. And this it was is a guy man. from the J-League who won the slam dunk yeah, contest. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Their first time success. Mm. Uh, Mark, 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 Mark Coloma, what's his, his other name? He's hit the mark already. So <laughs> on that note, Dan, thanks for coming through, man. <laughs> Azu, thanks for being here, too. Always a pleasure. Uh, we're going to be back in seven days' time, by the grace of God. Please vote for me. Please Clark vote Clark for my posters are everywhere. I will vote for yeah, you. Yeah, your PVC. I'll vote for you for the um, you know, the Tigers to win. That's the point. Because by the oh, time we come back oh, next Monday, they, lost have, that they would have played qualifying games. I lost games. that election. <laughs> uh, my name is Chuma Nali, guys. Next up is Game On on Nigeria and for. And we're going to focus on Chelsea's crisis at the moment. Arsenal uh, is a consistent drive for a title. Napoli and Barcelona are still matching on in the Serie A and uh, La Liga, respectively. And in tennis, there's Novak Djokovic, who's shining like a million stars. Not forgetting Rivers, United and Insurance, who had the best of the weekend with issues around Nigerian football. Mm. We have these and more to come on Game On. And next up...